All right, I was just listening to a book which had an idea, talked about not hiding your pain, or you. he inflicted more pain on others by hiding his pain, and it kind of brought back a couple of memories. First, when I first got divorced, I had two buddies, and if it wasn't for Mike and Joe, I probably wouldn't have made it through my divorce, wouldn't be here now. Um, and, and this point and why it's so important to have a tribe of men is you need to have other men you can reach out to. The second thing that really kind of hit me like a slap across the face was I was married second time over 11 years ago and about 10 days after I was married we got a breast cancer diagnosis for Wendy and I remember breaking down crying that day but then I did the guy thing. I sucked it up and I moved on and I was the strong a uh, guy taking care of business, being there for her, and I didn't really share my pain or let anyone else help me with that. And then about two, three months later, we're in treatment, and uh, I remember having a work incident where I ended up yelling at somebody over the phone in Pennsylvania, a nurse. Now, she was wrong, but that doesn't matter. Um... And I, so this would have been 11 years ago. So we're looking at uh, 2009. Yeah. I hadn't raised my voice at work since 1993 at that point. I just don't yell. Okay. No. It's a sign I was leaking a little oil. And then about a week later, I had somebody at work who had arranged travel and I had a conversation and she didn't get something done and she said I yelled at her and I did not yell at her. Now, all of you men know that you don't have to raise your voice to sound angry and horrible. In fact, she was on speakerphone and my boss said, yeah, you didn't raise your voice, but the tone you used was maybe even worse. And I, I remember this because the gal had always been wonderful and helped out. And it was me not sharing my pain, dealing with the wife going through cancer treatment. And not reaching out to my brothers and the community I had around me to help me with that. And by hiding it and just sucking it up and moving on, I ended up letting it build up and build up. And let's just say my resting state of being where peaceful and joy is for me, you know, the norm and anxiety or stress is this very low one or two. It was probably my resting stress level then was probably an eight or a nine. So brothers, if you're struggling with some pain, don't bottle it up. It's not going to serve you, okay? We've got men in this community. We've got coaches too, but you've got friends. You've got others in your, your circle. Reach out to them. Don't be ashamed, okay? Do not bottle it up. It will not solve the problem. It will not make it better. It will only increase the pressure on you. So that's today's Coffee and Conversation, guys. Catch you later.